Ndiyo <laughs> Watu yeri ba nyasa e, daura angame ba loka mama, ne dafuata angame ba loka kuhunda mani anga, mama na kubiri kwa filani, na kuhunda ne pako paga tu ambela mubu. Home share, yahole mraba, yahole mraba na yahole sibarua na tehama lua, na yahole skasi ya uchane, uchomia, abana ndohili si abana, inamba yeri na yoshino liereta. Nofuko vusuma bo kulisi abana inamba ya lini na yo Kandi vatayaro kutu yukabu vusuma vudi Homishere iroli ya pila ya mbilamu vwefwe Ne ya pila ya iroli ngari mbilamu vwefwe Kuli ikali likanisa hujumla Ya kayabu peremu murio Kuwano umoko kufuira Ne likali nyasae mwene Abire mshere abunda lai Wasu wa mlimurio, mami nyasayaba la amira tihabi, umera, nisimoni peyua. Madhabao yetu ya church ya faith in Christ, wa umini, wa tambo ya mekuja kutusaidia katika kumbeleza, mwenda za kilda makobo, tumbo na chukua furusa hii kwa salami ya wata mjambu. Wa mjambu wa tera. Ni tata watu, labda wa sifu wangu wa kwadha ni kwamba, my mother... Never numbered her children despite the fact that she had a number of children. Instead, she valued them. And uh, I think hiyo ni attribute ambayo wa zazi wa church sana wakonayo. Mama hukuwa na tunamba moja bile tatu, lakini hukuwa na juwa kila mtoto na jukumu laki. Mwana sifiwe. Na hiyo labda ilikuwa inafanya kila moja yetu wa ilikuwa mudau na ilikuwa na juwa kwa mba kazi yake ni gani. Nafikiri hiyo ndio nikuwa ndaka ni wambie ni sana. Mama amekufa uh, Mwenda zake baruna bakufa kwa ke Nafikiri pia Alikuwa naongelea mambo ya unity of the family And that's why kwa matanga Ya ndugu wala, eh, eh, Baruna wala Ilimuuliza kadisa Ya faith in Christ Take a lot of time And give brother Albert a lot of time To concentrate on the consolidation Of the family For higher integration cause Mom was known for integration. I think the speeches we've been hearing about Likwazi na lenga ya kwa mama likuwa na leta watu pamoja, sindio? So, kama jamii, we can promise you, tutakuwa pamoja Na ata wala mbao wangelipenda kufili Kifu cha mama bishua, hamta fili Cause, tunayenda kuwa kitu kimo Labda kwa kumalizia Nigesema ya kuwa mba Majina angu ni welfu ni betu uthumbo Betu kwa sababu mama alinenemu baba ake mzazi And I think wenye wananijua na wenye memujua wote Hata hui mamu wenye napita adalitanga tu baba So what did I do? I decided to play the role of a father to my mom Na hiyo sababu kama kuna makosa ambayo ni metenda mengi katika kijijiki Ni katika kumdefend my mother Ukweli wa ukweli di kuamba aunge mugusa Unge mungusa tu ungejue in live wire But my brothers vile mmesikia unenaju ukiendelea na maombi na nini Kama mmesikia mzuri And I think atuna kuingineko kwa kuenda Ispokuwa kumrudia Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu asifiwe Na ndio sababu wakati ninapo jianda katika huduma Na chukua fursa hii Kuomba musama Wote Wote including Philip Kama nilikupiga Kama niliku Kama niliku kejeli Kama tuliko sana Mwene same sana Allow me to take this opportunity To hand over the mic to my eldest brother Albert Who shall usher in the other speakers As they come Thank you very much God bless you Niko tuna maneno matatu 
Mama Mekufa tuenda kumziga the next coming minute and uh, wote wameongea mengi. Jambo la kwanza tumekaa sana itaomba faith in Christ ministry tuimbe wimbo asubuhi nikiamuka ili tunyoroshe miguu tumekaa sana. Sababu nataka kuimba hiyo wimbo leo hiyo ndio wimbo mama alinipigia mara tatu kama imebaki siku ine afe nikimwimbia hiyo wimbo hiyo tu leo naimba hivyo nikimaliza hiyo wimbo Kenya Utalii College principal wanatuma staff kuja kusoma barua ya rambi rambi kwa watu ambao wamefiwa na sababu nitaalika hao nikitoka hapo na shukuru yote naenda kusemi ushuhuda kwa sababu ya wakati umeenda mbaya sana kiwango si cha kawaida Jacob na family e, kanisa na marafiki wote wamekuja kwa siku ya leo kwa majina nafahamika kama Osoro Abram natoka kaunti ya Kisii e, Jacob tunafanya naye kazini kwa pamoja tumefanya sasa kwa miaka kadha e, on behalf of Kenya Utali College na on my own behalf mekuja kuomboleza na yeye nasema pole sana bwana Jacob e, kuwa mfumilifu hii vile watu wa, kila mtu wamesema hata kanisa vile inatuambia kila wakati e, kila mmoja wetu hii ndio safari tuko nayo na kuna vile hatuna shortcut nyingine so kila mmoja wetu awe ametiandaa kwa hiyo safari ndio kila mtu akielekea huko awe na furaha So eh, kwa sababu ya wakati nitakuwa very brief eh awa ni wenzangu tumekuja nao eh, ningeomba wa eh, wawasalimie wa na wajifahamisha alafu tuko na eh, speech imetoka kwa mkuu wa CEO wa Kenya Utalii College eh, karibu ya matibao na pisho na ndugu zako wote madada zako mimi ningesema poleni kwa kupoteza mama unajua mama ndio nguso ya, ya, ya boma akikosa kwa boma haikuangi ni boma tena inakuanga ina sarampika sasa na sina mengi ya kusema mimi kwa jina naitwa Jona Tetwe mimi ni mnyore na pisho tunafanya na e Tumefanya naye miaka mingi na bila mepoteza mzazi tukasikia mwito tukasema hapana tuje tumfunge kamba ndiye ajue kweli tunampenda. Kwa maana bila yako hapa na hata nyinyi mnajua akai hapa ni tumbo ilimtoa kwenda kutafuta 
Ni sasa vile amefuata maneno kama hii kupoteza mzazi ni mkose kusikia kuna mtu amemfuata nyuma mtasema huyu mtu anaelewana na wala ambao wanaishi nao kweli ama wala anafanya nao lakini sasa tumeleta mwito kuja kumfunga kamba kupoteza mama yake tumesema pole kwa hayo yote imepita mama amemaliza mambo yake na sisi tukifanya vizuri tutakutana naye huko mbele hasa peho bosi na kabola mbuo ukichokoa bishop mkoe ni dabalina ndende abagole abantu boluia sikira okose mundu muhongo mitala becho bitinye nda mokokose kama abiria huo hulie skenga kwa kwa beota kino hulie kama abeya kama sika ndo ndo waka taru kwa kabola pole kosi nyasaya mulinde ne yako isero le bunyole lakini ndo handu muwe marama hadi orula marama mashere eh ke handi njile cha mbandu banje bene eh sikambula hadi mwezi mara marama Ah sande sana. Haya mwana ona ndo kuchende na ndo tiana naye. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Kwa majina naitwa Grace Eshiwani Wanandwa. Ndo mhano mara ma hula kuisero. Kuholanga nende Jacob. Tunafanya kazi vyema na yeye na muheshimu nikiwa huko kama ndugu yangu. Nikienda kukosa akiniangalia ninajua siko kwa njia inayofaa. Jacob tunakuheshimu na tunasema pole kwa kupoteza mama si jambo rahisi lakini tunakuomba uendelee kushikilia Mungu kwa ajili ukishika Mungu yote wanasema ya uchawi na nini na nini yote ni mapito be strong in God na Mungu atakuelekeza sitaenda kwa mengi nitasoma barua ambayo tumetumwa na mkubwa wetu sio wa Kenya Utali College halafu tutaenda kuketi condolence message We are saddened to learn of the sudden demise of our, of your beloved mom Mrs. Helda Amakombe Otumbo on Tuesday 26 October 2021 while undergoing treatment at St James Hospital in Kakamega County. On behalf of the management, staff and students of Kenya Utalii College, I wish to express our heartfelt condolences to you, your family, relatives, friends during this period of grief. No value can compare to a mother's love and as such losing a mother is quite devastating words may thus seem inadequate to express the sadness pain and sorrow you are going through during this trying period it is our honest prayer jacob that the almighty god will comfort and strengthen you during this period of sadness may the lord enable you to reflect on the wonder, wonderful times you shared together and open your eyes to see what she has left behind and thereby have a reason to smile again and do what she would have wanted done let memories of the good times you shared with her rekindle your energy to move on in life and most importantly execute the good morals she insisted she instilled in you may our good lord Rest mom's soul in eternal peace from our principal Hashim Mohamed. Mbarikiwe na santeni kwa kutukaribisha. Asante sana my colleagues. Ah. Hapa nikisimama nasema hivi nataka kushukuru uh, na kutangua madhabahu ya Faith in Christ Ministry imekalia Reverend of Asias kutoka Regions wa wachungaji na viongozi wa viwaidara katika ministry na washirika. Natambua pia Reverend ama Padri wa ACK na viongozi wote wachungaji ambao wamepewa kibali kwa, kwa sababu ya kanisa la ACK. Nataka kushukuru uh, tuko na chief wawili ama watatu, tuko na assistant chiefs, tuko na viongozi wetu wa administration tuseme kwa jumla nataka kushukuru pia marafiki ambao wametusaidia sana kufata kufikisha uh, mipango hii mahali imefika kwa wakati huu ni vile tu wamesema tulikuwa na msiba hapa awali baada ya wiki moja ya pili tunapoteza mama yote ni ina mahitaji kiukweli kama si rafiki kama si ndugu kama si dada kama si kanisa kama si wafanyakazi wenzangu haikuwa kiambo rahisi kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya family ya Yakobo Likui tunataka kushukuru marafiki 
wote makanisa yote tunataka kushukuru viongozi wa vitengo vya demonstration tunataka kushukuru marafiki walio mbali na karibu tunashukuru hata pia ndugu zetu na dada zetu ambao wamejitoa kusimama pamoja nasi kama si mkono wako uliotoa kwa ajili ya mipango hii ingekuwa inaangalia mfano mwingine ambao si huu kwa hivyo nawashukuru sana wote asandeni sana kanisa letu la faith in christ ministry asandeni sana marafiki na shukuru pia uh, Kenya Utali College na shukuru marafiki ambao wametoka kwa kaunti na wale ambao madugu zangu wanafanya vya ka, eh, kazi zao nataka kushukuru kwa familia zetu zote bishoka bishoka kamzima nataka kushukuru kila mmoja ambaye alijitoa kuhakikisha kwamba mpango hii ya mazishi ya mama yangu imefika mahali ipo sasa sina mengi ya kunena manake mimi ndio kwanza katika nyumba ya mama kutoka tumba ya mama nina mengi nikikwambia utashangaa lakini sina muda kwa sababu uh, hata mahali tumefika tumechelewa sana kulingana na sheria ya serikali kwa hivyo nasema ni asante nikienda kukaa chini uh, narudisha kipasa sauti kwa MC ambayo ni siku ya leo nikimalizia zaidi faith in christ ministry wageni ambao ni nyawana wageni wametoka utali college tukite, tukimaliza tutatamuka pale chini alafu tuone jinsi tutapopakie tutapata pale kuna mikono na wengine wote kuna tend hapa dining tafadhali usiende nyumbani kabla uja nawa mikono tafadhali kuna tend nyingine pale VIP hao naona wanashughulika nafikiri wanashughulikiwa tafadhali na kusikwa neema ya Bwana ukipenda kama unanipenda na ulimpenda mama tafadhali ingia kwa hiyo tent na mikono tu kile kidogo na sisi wote tutabarikiwa asandeni sana shukuru pia uh, mwenye kuchukua kamera tulianza naye jana siwezi kusahau litotoa moche tukakuja mpaka hapa na anaendelea pia kuchukua najua kwamba hiyo sio kazi rais pia na unajua kimchoma sisi tukitafuta mali pa kujificha kwa hivyo wote mubarikiwe ni makaribisha mara tena na mtuombe Amani ya Bwana pamoja na nyinyi nyote wale wanijui Albert Jacob Likui Bishop of Faith in Christ Ministry International Thank you very much Asante sana wageni wetu wote na wananchi wote kwa jumla hamjambo kwanza mimi kwa jina Wellington Omeno mimi ni senior chief wa Shanda location na hapa niko nyumbani Yenyewe ni uzuni kupotesa wapendwa wakifuatana ni uchungu haswa sana sisi hatuna la kufanya ni kuomba tu Mungu mwenye alipeana pia ndiye ndiye mwenye amechukua sisi hatuna la kufanya najua kusaliwa ni bahati kufa ni lazima wale wako tungependa tuendelee na maisha tukijitayarisha safari zetu kwa hivyo nataka kuasi vijana wangu ni uchungu lakini tungependa ile unity ilikuwa hapa iendelee huyu ni mmoja wapo wa mashemeji wangu wenye wako na heshima zaidi hata mimi wakati nilioa aliniambia lazima akuje aone mke wangu na wakati alikuja alimshauri akamwambia kama umekuja kuoleka utaoleka hii familia ninaijua hii familia ni familia ya raha watu wa kuoa wake wengi kwa hivyo we kama umekuja kuoa kuoleka utaoleka na yenyewe ilimsaidia kwa sababu hii uko yetu iko na hiyo mtindo ingawa siku hizi tunajaribu kuchallenge kwa wake wengi na hizi shamba tulipewa aziongezeki ikiwa wewe utaoa wake wengi pia nao ongeze mashamba ndipo utaona mambo tunasikia uchawi inaoa inaanza hapo ndio chanzo ya uchawi tukirundikana tu hapa 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 tukuweka hawa na wake wote hapa tutakuwa na shida. Kwa hivyo kama uko na uwezo anda kutafuta weka mwingine huko huko watatembeleana 
na tutakuwa na heshima sikatai mtu kwa wake wengi lakini sasa tukaanza kusikia hii maneno ya uchawi uchawi hii hatutafurahi kwa hivyo mimi sitaki niende kwa mambo hiyo sana kabla sijaingia kwa maneno ya serikali nika hapa na wenzangu tafadhali mkuje hapa mjitambulishe wajue serikali iko Nimeona assistant chief tuko na account uh, government officers waka hapa sisi tunafanya kasi pamoja kama uko na ujumbe mnaweza pasha kwa ufupi Oriyo mno mwami chief eh wesio washi anje microphone Avesi rokhonya ku ku sia masaka kwa ku kunda kha bashesi ya murembe murembe hande Mumera na luka wa asumwa erulanga kusaruti admin shiro nditsirano okuikula nendo ashanje Morris kupanga neshi barua na no mundu mlai watinyerana eshi mushibarwa ku county e umama kwa manjita ala di pole murumno oryo mwashanje yese ndiye mirambirano bananga piuse yikui ni efwe kwa kusibwande kuhu kuhu kona uno kwa kaita manda skemba kwa 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 siye sana kwa vere ere sana ya umamu kwa manjita haengalisie microphone kwa chief orio mama na wambole zaji jina langu ni kaleb neondo mimi ni chief wa marama south na nimekuja hapa marehemu ni dada yangu kutoka kule penyali toka pia tunashiriki nae kwa kanisa moja ndipo sasa tumekuja kupeana heshima ya mwisho. Asante bwana chief. Asante sana. Sasa nikiongea maneno ya serikali moja mbili ningependa kuwas Ningependa kuwasi wazazi tuweke mambo ya elimu priority number one Aya maneno tunaona yote hata ukitaka matanga yako iwe mzuri elimisha watoto wako hawata kusahau. Huyu mama ninajua alifanya bidii akasomesha hawa watoto ndipo unaona jinsi tulivyo. Kwa hivyo tuko na wazazi hapa hawatilii manane maneno ya elimu. Ninajua mtaalamu kuja iko na challenges mingi na unajua ni project ya serikali sisi lazima tusupport hiyo mtala. Saa yetu naimizo ya kwamba mzazi lazima utanulia mtoto yako smartphone. Na smartphone mtoto anapewa assignment na mwalimu na tena anasaisha kwa hiyo smartphone. Kwa hivyo wale wazazi mlikuwa mnasembea na sisi tunasema ni 100% transition kwa second. Lazima mweke hiyo mpatie elimu nafasi ya kwanza wacha nene na hiyo vyama mingi yenye mnavaa sijui nguo ngapi kwa siku kwa wiki moja sijui mnafaa nguo ngapi na watoto wanateseka hapo atuta hata sikizana tumeanzisha marenyo shianda polytechnic tunasajili wanafunzi ili tupate watoto wenye wako na utaalamu ujuzi wa kuandikwa kazi. Kwa hivyo kama tuko na vijana humu humu tafadhali mwalete tuwasajili. Pia vile tunaendelea uende ikawa tutarudi mahali tulikuwa. Tunajua corona bado iko. Ni discipline yako peke yako ndio itakusaidia. Tunaimiza wananchi ukiwa kwa watu wengi uvae mask. Na tunaona watu wengi sasa wamepuuza. Tukiambia watu waende kwa chanja wanaleta mambo yao. Na wacha hiyo ukonje ikikushika itakunyorosha. Na utakuwa na pesa ya kujisaidia ama ya kujitibu. Kwa hivyo tafadhali tusingatie hiyo masharti. Kwa hivyo katika ofisi yangu tarehe kumi tutakuwa na chanjo ya corona ningependa wale wote hawajapata hiyo chanjo mkuje 
Na tarehe tisa tutakuwa na barasa hapo Bubala Assistant Chief Office tutaongea maneno yetu yote ya serikali kwa sababu kwa matanga tuweze ongea mambo yetu yote yenye inahusu sisi. Najua hata tukiongea hapa yenye inahusu Shianda location watu wengine nao pengine hiyo sio shida hapo kwa hivyo shida zetu zote tutaongea hiyo siku ya tarehe tisa Na kabla sijaka ningependa ni mwalike county commissioner mwenye yako hapa akuje anene na sisi maneno ya serikali yeye ni mzuri huwa anakuja matanga yetu na akiwa na sisi tunafurahi jamii ambayo imeachwa na marehemu mpendwa na ombolezaji wenzangu amjambo bwana Yesu asifiwe nafikiri mmeona nikitokea hapa kwa wachungaji mimi nimeokoka na ni mchungaji katika kanisa la Faith in Christ Ministry. Ninachunga vijana, kazi yangu ni kuchunga vijana. Mke wangu yuko pale, simama tu wewe hivi mahali huko hapo. Eh, thank you very much. Alafu kuna kijana ametoka Kaloleni Giriama kule Kilifi. Rafiki wa Bishop, kama uko hapa simama tu mahali ulipo tafadhali uwevu kijana ametoka Kaloleni Giriama rafiki wa bishop na nilikuwa nafanya kazi huko na mjua basi jina langu naitwa Fred Ndunga Ndunga mnasikia anga kwa, kwa TV wakisema Ndunga pengine mnafikiri ni kikuyu ingine ama mtu ingine ya huko ukambani na siangu huyu eh huyu marehemu ambaye ame, ametuacha ni senje wanje ndo mtere ohule masaba yao hosi ese ngosi ye nataka niwaambie tu jambo moja kwa serikali ya Kenya ambalo linatuathiri sisi wote hata uwe umetoka kona gani kuna shida ya mashule kuchomwa na watoto na nafikiri leo hii hapa mahali tumekaa katika western region Kakamega High School na Mbale high school wamechoma leo yes na mtasikia mashule zinachomeka secondary schools boarding wanachoma dormitory wanachoma dormitory sasa nataka niseme mambo mawili jambo la kwanza nataka niombe wazazi kama wewe uko hapa na wewe ni mzazi na uko na mtoto kwa shule najua atafukuzwa tu siatarudi nyumbani tu eh si atachoma huko na atafukuzwa na atarudi nyumbani kaa na huyo mtoto wako weka maadili kwa kichwa chake hawa watoto sijui wanavuta nini siku hizi lakini shida ni wazazi tumeachilia sana wazazi tumeachilia sana hata tumetorokea majukumu tumetorokea tumeachia walimu mtoto akija kwa boma ni papa papa senje kuhu senje kuhu anatoka kwa boma na kichwa kubwa na anaenda kwa shule kuchoma shule na kwa taarifa yako akichoma ni wewe ndio utalipa eh kama uko na mtoto kaka mega high school tayarisha pesa utalipa kama uko na mtoto mbale high school tayarisha pesa utalipa kwa hivyo hawa watoto wazazi tukae na wao tuwaambie wawache kutupatia mizigo ambaye atuku watuma shuleni kutupatia na nyinyi viongozi wa makanisa tafadhali naona kama kuna shetani fulani ameingia ndani ya mashule tunaweza kufanya kile tunafanya kama serikali tunaweza kushika hawa watoto tuwafungulie mashtaka tuwafunge lakini kuna kitu kinakula kingine hapo kwa shule viongozi wa kidini naomba mtusaidie mtusaidie mtuombe mashule yetu ni Kenya nzima ni Kenya nzima hata huko kwangu Muranga ninapoongea saa hii Muranga by yesterday sijui kile kilifanyika leo by yesterday shule 17 17 by yesterday kwa hivyo jamani hatuwezi kukaa tukiangaliana ni jambo la dharura lazima tulishughulikie sisi wote na Mungu atusaidie. E, mchungaji Bishop naomba Mungu akusaidie 
wewe na ndugu zako zote wote na jamaa wote Mungu awafunge mkanda wa uvimilivu na Mungu awasaidie tutaendelea kuwaombea kusimama pamoja nanyi nanyi mshikane pamoja na mengine yote Mungu atatenda asanteni sana kunisikiliza Mungu awabariki Once again I'm Mama Kobe Alpha the first born of the late Barnaba Sotia and I'm here to read the eulogy of my grandmother Bas The late Mama Helda Makobe Otsumbo was born in the year 1949 to the late Dalmas Mbetu Aura and the late Mama Jennifer Oyweri Sinjira in Murumba village Ohuyu's location in Siaya County. The mother later divorced and got married to the late Daniel Nyawale Openda of Emasuba village. She had several brothers and sisters. The late Vitali Singanga Mbetu, the late Julius Alumera, Selfa Indaku, Mary Kweyu, Judith Maina Evali Namboka, Pamelo Mronji, Emily Aswani, Masa Odenyo, Sara Ambesa and the late Wickly Fopio. She had 12 children namely Bishop Likui, late Masa Odenyo, Judith Milimo, Wilhood Mbetu, Rael Wenyene, Fredrick Pewa, Maurice Owino, Godfrey Nasiche, late Martin, late Barnaba Soteu is my father, Enzen Jennifer and Sela Madanji. She has left behind 52 grandchildren and 22 great grandchildren. Education. Mama Helda got a formal education at Masaba Primary and Shibembe Primary respectively, but didn't go far due to the poor financial status of their family. Marriage. She got introduced to her late husband Mr. Livingstone Otsumbo Likui when she came to visit her sister cousin the late Mama Aswani and the later solemnized their marriage 1964 at Butere SK Church and wedded in 1978. Work. She was purely a businesswoman, sold cereals and cooked mandazis. Lifestyle. She was loving, caring, forgiving, understanding, generous and respected all, both poor and the rich. Her sickness. Mama Elder started complaining of headache and joint pains in the year 2004, where she was diagnosed of arthritis in Mata Misericordial Hospital in Nairobi, where she was taken by the late George Nandwa, formerly Deputy CEO Kenya Sugar Authority. Ever since then, she has been on and off. In the year 2015, she got ill and was taken to St. Mary's Mumias for treatment and later transferred to Kakamega and later to Eldoret Referral, where she was diagnosed with kidney failure, though fortunately got treated and discharged. She has been well till October 2020, when she lost her husband on 26th of October 2020, After burial on 6th of November 2020, she has been on and off till August this year. When she got ill and, to, and taken to Nairobi for treatment, organized by Bishop Likui, she picked up very well and was discharged and came back home on 6th of October. She got ill again and was taken to Bukaya Medical Center, treated but never improved. Was left out referred to Kakamega again, where she was diagnosed of heart failure and severe anemia on 14th of October. Her last born son Barnaba passed away and by learning this she was traumatized and demanded for a discharge. From there she never had peace both physical and emotional. She again was taken to Butere St James Hospital till Sunday 25th October 2021 when she was discharged on Monday 26th October 2021. She developed breathing complication and was rushed to St James again at around 2 a.m. Mom breathed her last breath. May her soul rest in eternal peace. We loved her very much but God loved her most. Thank you. <laughs>
wote wa mbalazi bwana asifiwe asifiwe tena nataka kushukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya siku ya leo ambayo Mungu ametuandalia hakika kama sio Mungu ingekuwa jinsi ilivyo tunajua ya kwamba kasi ya Mungu haina makosa bwana asifiwe hakika mama amekuwa mkristo wangu bwana asifiwe mama amekuwa mkristo ambaye hadharau mtu yoyote Unapoangalia umri yangu na ya mama iko tofauti bwana asifiwe. Lakini mama anaponitasama ananiona kama mchungaji. Hakuna siku ameniita akakatoto hapana. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana niambia mchungaji wangu umefika. Unapata na nisimamia hata kita na niambia ka hapa bwana asifiwe. Sasa ninajua kazi ambayo mama alitenda hapa ulimwengu itampea taji mari anaenda. Bwana asifiwe. Na ninapea mama ua la kanisa. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa sababu amekuwa Mkristo ambaye ajai tu si mtu. Kwa muda nimekuwa na wengine wanasema ni pasta yake wa muda kidogo. Unaweza kuwa na mtu hata siku moja na anakuachia hata baraka ama unamwachia maua. Bwana asifiwe. Ka kazi mzuri mama ametenda ninampea maua na ninachukua mwili wake nikikabidhi kwa Kristo wachungaji ili wanapo msindikiza wasindikize mama kwa heshima yake ambayo amekuwa nayo mzuri pamoja na sisi na mbarikiwe sana Asante a ah, nitaomba kwaya pamoja na kanisa tusimame kwa wimbo namba 27 tukikaribisha uvasia wetu wa Kakamega kuja kuombea walio fiwa Wimbo number 27 regions pia kwa tele wa regions hello wachungaji tuokoe wakati Pastor Rebecca Onyango nikiwa mama region wa hii region ya Butere nikiwa na hudumu kwa kanisa la Mlimani Faith in Christ na mbarikiwe sana Bwana apewe sifa e, kwa majina mniite e, mchungaji Anastasia Akoti Lukade e, nikiwa e, mpwazi wa mama region Butere region na munga wa bariki Ah Bwana asifiwe sana Haleluya. Kwa majina ni mchungaji Ross wa Malanda, mchungaji wa vijana kutoka region na mbarikiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina ni mama Elda Madoli, mama mstaafu. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa majina mchungaji Mary Scotti, kanisa Neshaka Faith in Christ, mbarikiwe. Elina Nanga Messi Sabatia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Majina ni mchungaji Meshak na Bakwe Messi, nikiwa mchungaji wa kanisa la Faith in Christ Ministry Sabatia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. E, kwa majina ni mchungaji Dominic Kumu Msando, kanisa ni Shamba Church Faith in Christ Ministry. Mubarikiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina ni Jackson Okinda, kanisa ni Masaba Faith in Christ. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Muita Rosalie Nokwaro nikiwa mke wa Basia Butere mbarikiwe. Mwenyewe ndio huyo? Kaleb Neondo Regional Secretary Butere Region. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa majina ni Morin Tubula mtaule crossover Faith in Christ Ministry Nairobi. Bwana asifiwe. Bendera ya mama. Mama Jess Faith in Christ Nairobi Region. Joyce Were. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Emily Osita na Marijo Nairobi. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina ni Sandra Inzai nikiwa treasurer wa maendeleo Eldoret region. Bwana apewe sifa kwa majina ni Evelyn Kamau secretary wa Mama region Eldoret. Bwana asifiwe kwa majina naitwa Sofia nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana treasurer kanisa ni Eldoret faith in Christ. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Mirembe Yes. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Furida hamasi. Vijoni ya kakameka. Haleluya. Amen. Amen. Ah, majina ni Madam Rosa Odemba Ndunga. Ah, wife ya Pastor Frederick Odemba Ndunga. Part-time evangelist. God bless. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina Tabitha Neondo nimeokoka mke wa mchungaji wa headquarter Faith in Christ Nairobi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina ninaitwa Ruth Anindo na mai ofasia wa Doret. Mama ni ma, mimi ni mama ofasia wa Doret. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe sana. E, Mwite Joyce Mkanzi, Mama Senda, Kakameka Region. Barikiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Salamu za Mama Helda. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Mama Refa Mwai, Mama Director Ministry Faith in Christ Ministry yote mzima. Mimi ni mke wa e, mume wangu ndio huyu hapa amekamata hiyo mashini kutoka jana tumekuwa na yeye hapa nimemuonea huruma jua limemtandika woi haleluya bwana asifiwe barikiwe sana ah bwana asifiwe amen bwana asifiwe amen amen inaitwa apostle simon kea e, tumekuwa na bishop narobi na aliniwekea mkono nikarudi huko nyumbani sasa niko nyumbani hapa na mira kosenda potere mungu awabariki Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Majina anaitwa mchungaji Nelson Otieno Diambo, nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Nachunga kanisa la Mashimoni Faith in Christ Nairobi. Mungu awabariki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Basi mimi ni mchungaji Martin Neondo. Kanisa ni headquarter ya Faith in Christ Ministry. Mimi ndiyo niko kwa makao makuu. Askofu ni mshiriki wangu. Hao wote mshiriki wangu. Thank you very much. Be blessed. Ah Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Majina yangu naitwa Pastor Boni Tobula, Kanisa la Faith in Christ Ministry, Mteule Crossover Branch, Madare North Nairobi. Hapa niko nyumbani, Erlata Anjerahano, Ebutsete Tanjerahaya. Hapa ni nyumbani. Mbarikiwa sana. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Niite Pastor Robert Madeva kanisa ni Nairobi Madare North Branch 2930 kwa stage. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kuzaliwa ni Busia Count Marach Butula. Haleluya. Bwana wabariki sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asifiwe mokosi. Ninaitwa Pastor Michael Nandwa mchungaji wa Faith in Christ Ministry Eldoret Edukota mbarikiwa na Bwana. E, bwana Bewe Sifa kwa majina Pastor Sakaria Mieho kanisa la Judea Eldoret Richon chini ya Obasia wa Mkoya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Majina yangu naitwa Honorable Erom Tetezi mchungaji vile vile Nairobi Region. Ah natafuta Ninazimia makombea kiti cha eneo bunge la Ruaraka 2022. Mama Hilda Asante, mama Hilda ambaye ni kuhu wangu. Vile vile mimi ni mwimbaji. Kwa hiyo kabla age kuna wimbo wangu aliupenda zaidi na kama mlishawahi mpigia simu, mlisikia wimbo unasema Jehova umenitoa mbali sana. Ebeneza wastahili Aliposikia akasema kwamba mtoto wangu huu wimbo ni mzuri na utabariki mataifa. Na leo tunapozungumza kabla afariki wimbo ulikuwa umeshapata views 2 million kwa YouTube na iko na streams ya 35 million worldwide. Kwa hivyo utukufu umrudie Mungu. Barikiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise God. 
Tusalimiane hewani. Kwa majina naitwa Pastor Amos Wanyama nikichunga kanisa la Faith in Christ Kitale. Asante. Amen. Wachungaji wote pamoja na baba wetu askofu na waombolezaji wote jamii jamaa na marafiki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Naitwa Pastor Jackson Okwaro Matioli nimeokoka. Kristo ni Bwana. Mimi ni Ovasia Butere Region. Nina yako hapa na overseers wenzangu ambao wako ndio sababu nimetaka nitangulie na nikimaliza niwapee sauti kipasa sauti waongee. Hawa ni regional overseers wenzangu. Nimewakaribisha Butere, Reverend, karibu sana Butere na naomba hii kazi ya mama iende sawa maana mama alikuwa mama mzuri sana. Nimeongea mengi tu kupitisha introduction ni kwa sababu mimi ndio overseer wa Butere Region na mlea skofu pamoja na waheshimiwa na waona. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nimeoa mke mmoja wa kike ambaye amewasalimia hapa Mungu awabariki sana. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Naitwa Frederick Amos Odemba Ndunga. Ukinitafuta kwa kijiji huko Masava, tafuta Amos. Ukinitafuta mahali pa kazi, tafuta Ndunga. Na kwa vile ninachunga vijana, vijana wananiita Fao. Na wamenes, wamesema I am very old but not lazy. Yes. Mimi nachunga vijana wote wa Faith in Christ Ministry Kenya yote. Mubarikiwe. Ah, uh, mata power ya Faith in Christ Ministry. Naomba ni wasalimu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Waombolezaji wote ambao wamekuja kuomboleza na familia na wasalimu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Ah, uh, mimi ni wabashia wa kakameka ka Rija Pasta Kizito Shangala Shmwenyi uh, Tukiwa sehemu ya kakameka Rija Nataka ni ambie bishop na kanisa La mama amekuwa kiutumu ndani pole Kakameka tuko pomocha nai Kuatia nguvu na kwa fariji Mungu wa amani awatende mema Bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa majina muite Pastor Jared na Mai wa Mkoya nasimamia Eldoret region mke wangu alikuwa hapa lakini alikosea kidogo yeye sio mama yangu ni mke wangu Bwana asifiwe haleluya kwa hivyo sina mambo mengine mengi nitawaambia tu usione kitu kikiwa kidogo udhanie uzito wake ni mdogo Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Hey. Askofu. Uko na kofia mingi. Na ninaona ukifaulu. Sababu hata boma likiwa na 11 na nimeona hapa makanisa yale unaongoza hakuna kitu kitakushinda hapa kuongoza. Jambo la kwanza mimi Bishop huyo kijana yake mkubwa ameoa mtoto wangu so ni nyaba Jambo la pili faith in Christ Pastor Wick Overseer Wickliff Were na Pastor Martin Neondo ndio waliniombea wokovu na askofu akanilea akaniwekea mkono nikapata kazi nikaendelea nafanya kazi parliament ya Kenya. Nashukuru Mungu kwa maombi ya faith in Christ imenitoa mahali. Na ikafika mahali nikasema mtoto akifika sana toka kidogo. Na nikatoka kiasi. Kia? Yes. Na nimeona upendo wamenipatia. You never know. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo kwa majina naitwa Pastor Ken Mayaka nahubiri ya injili parliament ya Kenya kama unajua mjumbe wa wote muulize pastor Mayaka atakwambia ni mimi Bwana asifiwe Nashukuru Mungu mama alinipigia chai na mioko hapa wakati tulikuja kufungua makanisa ya Butere wakati nimefanya kazi kwa Faith in Christ Ministry nikiwa organizing secretary na mimi ndio nilibeba hao wanaume sababu mimi ni pilot. Nikawaleta hapa tukafungua makanisa. Hiyo siku nilitoka Kisumu saa nane nikafika Nairobi, nikalala huyu bwana akakuja akanifungulia mlango saa tatu. Nikachukua gari tukaanza kuja huko. Tukafanya kazi, 
Nashukuru Mungu hiyo makanisa imesimama. Kwa ufupi Mungu abariki boma, Mungu awapatie nguvu na jina la Yesu liendelee kuinuliwa. Amen. Ah. Ken, watoto wa Faith wapote yangi nje. Ah, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina muite Overseer Weekly Fuere. Overseer wa Nairobi region. Ah, mimi natoka hapa Huisero. Mwana wa Ingota. Barikweni. Tutakutana saa zingine. Ninawasalimu nyote katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Nashukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya hii nafasi maana sitaki kuchukua muda sana najua wakati imeenda. Uh, kwa washirika wetu ambao wamekuja kuombolesa pamoja na askofu wetu Nimeona upendo kubwa maana nimeona washirika kutoka kit, eh, Kitale, Eldoret na kuingineko. Kuna wale wametoka Nairobi na kuna wale pia wametoka mbalimbali. Kwa hivyo upendo huo iendelee kudumu tunapofanya kazi pamoja katika Faith in Christ Ministries. Najua kwamba askofu ambao ni askofu wangu tumekuja kuombeleza kwa ajili ya mama. Kuna yale yote ambayo tumeyasikia. Ukiwa kama kiongozi mkuu katika huduma la Faith in Christ Ministries, tena wewe ndio mkubwa katika boma la Mze Livingstone simama imara na mguu yako yote miwili. Kwa ajili ya huduma na pia kwa ajili ya familia hii. Uh, najua kwamba ni kazi kubwa. Hata mimi pia ni mkubwa katika boma letu ikiwa umebaki katika hiyo pengo simama imara bila kuangalia huko na kuhuko na bila kuweka support mali popote ama kuegemea pande yote wewe simama imara kama mkubwa na najua kwamba Mungu atakutia nguvu na atawabariki pamoja na familia yote so kwa niaba ya Faith in Christ Ministry nzima kutoka Busia hadi Omabei Siaya wote tumesema pole Mungu awese kuwabariki na kuwatia nguvu tunapoendelea kusindikisa mama yetu. Wacha wakati huu ambao ni wake wa mwisho tushirikiane na Mungu atuongoze. Tumesema pole kwa niaba ya Faith in Christ Ministry na wote na Mungu awabariki. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Harrison Agwenge Otieno nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana ninatoka katika kaunti ya Homa Bay. Lakini kanisa yangu iko Nairobi. But mimi ninapatikana mahali popote. Hata nikiwa hapa Butere tunakanyagana na na Ovasia kwa ajili ya eneo la Butere na tunaingiana. Lakini ukinitupa nitakutupa. Mungu awabariki sana. Asante. Makofi ya wachungaji.